<laughs> okay. Uh, I just recorded a whole five, ten minute video and forgot to turn on my wireless microphone. <laughs> Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Sunday, November 10, 2013. And I'm calm now. After yesterday's rant over the new Google Plus slash YouTube comments integration. Um, there is some emails going around right now petitioning for a class action lawsuit against Google for their transgressions. Now, mind you, I am still angry at the fact that uh, they broke something that we want back. But I will tell you that the, that the new system in place is ultimately going to increase viewership, it is ultimately going to enhance the user experience. Already, I can tell you that um, we no longer have the 500 character limitation, which is kind of nice, and we can even Im Cro uh, cross link or cross post embedded links to our YouTube videos in the comments of others. So there is a way to post videos uh, or to cross link videos to other people's videos and it's just put the link in your comments. It works. Try it. And as I started to say there is a few emails circulating petitioning for a class action lawsuit against Google and oh you've done a terrible thing you're taking away our AdSense revenue this is fraud yada 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 okay and in the email it said please take a screenshot of your Google Analytics and you'll see what we're talking about well I did I did and uh, what did I see I saw this I saw a bump in my overall traffic when I posted my global breakthrough energy movement videos as expected I saw a slight decline afterwards, also as expected. And in general, there is a trend upward in my overall traffic. Nothing has fallen off. Uh, it is continuing to grow steadily as it has been all along. So unfortunately, those of you who are petitioning for a class action lawsuit, you really have no basis for your claims. I'm sorry, but that's the reality. Um, again. I'm still angry with Google for what they did. I hope they will fix it. I really think they should be able to, don't you? But be that as it may, oh, excuse me. My uh, stove is asking me for some food here. There we go. So be that as it may, and uh, it, it it does it will ultimately be an improvement. I believe that. Um, and of course, I do still think that there is a globalist agenda behind it all and uh, giving the uh, powers that be a one-stop shop to eavesdrop on the herd, monitor the herd, make sure that we're not doing anything that they find distasteful or displeasurable. But uh, uh, let's put all that aside. Since the Global Breakthrough Energy Movement Conference and since my presentation that I gave there on the Thane C. Hines bitoroid and my initial concept build with what I'm calling the tri-core transformer, not because it has three cores, but because the core is a three-dimensional triangular shaped coil now. Wow, oh, rocket is really taking off. Um, the uh, the coupling coefficient between the primary and the two secondaries was quite a bit less than I had hoped. I'm using steel bailing wire to uh, ho to hopefully reduce the amount of eddy currents that were being generated in the core. But at this stage of the game, I don't think I need to worry that much about eddy currents, and my coupling efficiency was only about 34 percent. Despite the loose coupling between the primary and the secondaries that I've seen so far. Despite that, I did run some preliminary tests and I got some very surprising results that uh, support the data that was being reported by Thane C. Hines in that 
the amount of power being delivered to the primary decreased when I added a load to the secondary. Let me repeat that. The amount of power going into the primary decreased as I increased the load on the secondary with this crude model. That has warranted further investigation. So I'm going to be building a bigger version of this. To that end, I've put together a very crude coil winder with some of the uh, machine hardware that I've that I purchased at Home Depot and some of the bars that I've drilled out to uh, just make a very simple winder with my feed spool and my take-up spool on the on the winder. I might put a counter here, a mechanical counter, to uh, keep track of the counts for me so that I don't have to sit here and go one, two, three, four, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. What what was that number? Oh shoot. All right, well anyway. I'm moving forward and uh, I've picked up some bar stock, some nuts, three quarter inch nuts, three quarter inch all thread, cut them into, into sections and I'm going to be building a larger version of the tricore all bolted together and I'm not going to worry so much about eddy currents right now so that's why I'm using just a solid core and we'll see we'll see what kind of results I get what the intent is is to increase the coefficient of coupling something closer to one to one and uh, also use bigger coils. You'll notice this this bobbin that I've got right here. This is actually an empty spool of one pound, a one pound spool of solder. And I only have two of these, but thanks to Fire Pinto and his 3D printer, he's printing me off half a dozen of these things. And uh, I should be seeing them early next week. So Fire Pinto, thank you very much, dude. Appreciate your your input and your uh, contribution to to this experiment. And uh, we'll see where it goes. It's, like I said, the preliminary results were very interesting. I'm excited to keep moving forward with this project. And I hope you will be uh, excited and entertained and, and educated as well, uh, even if it fails. Okay? <laughs> so, whatever. Thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to my videos. And as always, peace. And this time, I had the microphone turned on. Thank you very much.